the White Sox, who obviously uh, got busy yesterday and signed Liam Hendricks to a big contract. He, of course, uh, the erstwhile A, who pitched very well for them over the last couple of years. Uh, he's a tough Australian. Nothing seems to bother him. He had a bad game at Yankee Stadium there a few years ago in the postseason. But ever since, he's responded. Obviously, great last year. Excellent in the postseason. Very good against the White Sox. Uh, got the last out to get them home in that first round in the wild card series. And he won the one game against Houston at Dodger Stadium with excellent pitching. Seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. Very difficult to hit with that fastball. I mean, he's, he's good. Now, they have Colome there, who also is good. Uh, Mark tells me today, 42 of 46 uh, save uh, opportunities uh, for him in the last whatever it might be, a couple seasons. That's a very, very good percentage. But he doesn't miss bats as much as Hendricks does, and that's to deal with these relief pitchers. Find guys who don't miss bats. You know, Jansen didn't miss a lot of uh, misses, uh, does, uh, does not miss bats, and look what happens to him in game four. The idea is to get the strikeouts and, uh, you know, weak contact at best uh, to get these outs and spots because if you can uh, put the bat on the ball, who knows? He'll dribble it down a third baseline and ends up winning the, a big World Series game. So from that standpoint, uh, you know, Colome, I guess, uh, doesn't strike out as many. I'd have to look at all the numbers. Hendricks, we do know, does. So that is the reason why the uh, White Sox did what they had to do. Now, the White Sox, like the Padres, like the Mets, those three, maybe like Toronto eventually, uh, they have spent money. I mean, you know, they have spent along the periphery. I mean, they got, they didn't get Bauer, they got Lance Lynn. They didn't get a George Springer, they got Adam Eaton, you know? So they, they have done, from that standpoint, they've kind of shopped in the outside aisles, so to speak, and they haven't gotten that crazy of bringing in a big um, a free agent bat or a pitcher. Now, they have a very good team. Last year, they played very well. They, had a, they, they collapsed late, but they played well for the most part. Gave the A's all they can handle. They were allowed to lose that first round playoff series. They brought in a new manager in La Russa, who I don't care about his age. Tony knows exactly what he's doing. 76 or not 76, I trust him in a big game. And I'm not looking to knock Renneria, but I trust him in a big game more than I would trust uh, Renneria. And that's what this is about, uh, managing big games in big spots where the manager's mistakes uh, can cost you championships. La Russa won't make many of those, if at all, and that's worth the price for mission for a team that's trying to win again, having won, what, they won one championship in uh, 100 years. So from that standpoint, I can understand that. And the White Sox, listen, they got a young ball club they can hit. They have pretty good starting pitching. Giolito's got great stuff, obviously, last year. He was wonderful in game one against the A's. Uh, Keiko knows what he's doing in a big game. Lynn, uh, I don't love Lynn, but, you know, he's a guy that eats innings. I think he's almost better a regular season pitcher than a postseason pitcher. But I understand game three. Here he is. We shall see. I mean, the White Sox are doing what they do here to try to put themselves in a spot where they can win big postseason games. They should, you know, be the team to beat in the division. The Indians, obviously, no. Kansas City, Detroit, no. That leaves the Twins. The Twins already lost to Rosario. They haven't done anything. Uh, haven't even brought Nelson Cruz back yet. So who knows on Minnesota, the White Sox are going to be the trendy pick uh, to go uh, win the division and then be a big team to reckon with in the American League. And remember, the American League doesn't have the Dodgers in it. The Yankees have been, you know, quiet. Tampa's not the same. Uh, you know, Houston is not the same. I mean, Oakland's losing guys left and right. I mean, the American League is really up for grabs, and the White Sox will have a chance here to do some things. Now, the one thing about the White Sox that I'd be a little concerned about is the White Sox last year when the pressure got going late in the year, they did not play well. Uh, they blew the division. They lost games left and right the last 10, 12 days of the season. They ended up, I believe, as the seventh seed. Um, I might be wrong on a seed. Sixth seed, but I know they played the A's without a home field. Uh, they, you know, they did, they, the Minnesota won the division, so they ended up way back. The Indians are ahead of them, too. So, and they had the Yankees, which is an unfortunate scenario, but the White Sox didn't do very little. They really didn't do much down the stretch. You wonder if, in fact, the pressure of the moment got to them a little bit. And then against the A's, they won the first game and didn't do anything in games two and three. So, uh, I'd be a little worried about that. And this year, there's going to be pressure on them because, you know, uh, they can be, you know, pretty confident and a little arrogant, and they got that little swagger to them. But last year, when they had that chance to win the division going away and really 
put a nail on where they were going to be with the seeds and everything else. They did not do it. And then when they got to Oakland, a team that was equally desperate, they collapsed. So let's keep that in mind before we put the White Sox in the 2021 World Series, please. But listen, I'm not going to argue about Hendricks. I like La Russa. Better starting pitching. Good lineup. Should be pretty good in a year. All right, lots to do. Let me get Bruce's comments on that as we welcome him in to this uh, Tuesday program. Bruce, your turn. How are you today, buddy? What do you have? Uh, I'm terrific, Christopher. Thank you. And let me uh, ask you this here on this January 12th uh, Tuesday before a pen hits paper on another transaction going forward this winter. Are the White Sox the team to beat overall in the American League? No way. No, no way. I can't do that. Teams on one playoff game in, in about two decades, and I'm going to make them the team to beat in the American League. No, I'm a, a team that did not play well the last couple weeks of the season. I'd, I'd have to go look at where they did, but I know they struggled. Reds and teams like that, not a chance. I am a, no, not a chance I'm making them the team to beat in the American League. Now, again, they should be a playoff team. If they had the seventh team, who knows if they're going to do that, but they should be a playoff team. I I'll give you the odds on team, odds on favorite to the division. I'll give you that one, but I'm not going to give you in the American League. Now, with the Yankees still sitting there, that I'm not doing. That's not fair. But division, well, yes. Uh, division, mean, yes. Yeah, listen, I mean, based on uh, based on pedigree, it, it's tough to argue, but all right, you brought up the Yankees. So, I mean, let's, let's quickly take a look. We could quibble about who's got the better lineup or who might have the better bullpen. But right now, there's a pretty distinct, Distinct advantage with in the starting pitching department with the White Sox over the Yankees. Uh, there might be, but the White Sox did lose seven of eight last year, and Garrett Cole in a big series is better than Julie, uh, G Giolito. You and I both know that. Now, after that, all right, you want to make a big deal about Dallas Keuchel? I mean, his five innings, we're going to make a huge deal. What, the Yankees aren't going to hit Lance Lynn at Yankee Stadium? Really, Bruce? You don't think that, do you? Um, I know you don't. Because I know you too well. well, well so, uh, well, again, well, I'm not... Well, what will the, the, the... I mean, my point is, what, well, will the, what would the White Sox conversely do against the Davy Garcias and Jordan Montgomery's of the world? Because that's the Yankees' starting right, starting rotation at the moment. Uh, that's fair, too. That's fair, too. But see, the thing about the White Sox that would worry me a little bit... Now, G. Lita was great against the A's, so i got to remember that. That's fair. He had a great postseason start. He was he like perfect baseball for like six, seven, eight. But to me, the White Sox in their starting rotation do not have championship. Those pitchers are not great pitchers. Keiko, you know, his best days are three years ago. And obviously, Lynn, I got to see it. And I don't know who's going to ever go in game four. They do not have top of the rotation stuff in a short series. You and I both know that. And that's the one issue I'd have with the White Sox. They don't have, you know, they don't have Scherzer and Strasburg at the top of the rotation, Bruce. Uh, they don't have that. And, and, and that does concern me a little bit with them down the road. 